Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a log cabin. On the left hand side I'm going to put three fingers from the top and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a little straight line to the left, go back to the dot, little straight line to the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line out, straight line down, and stop. Come back on the right, straight line down, curve line out, straight line down. We're just going to leave these lines floating. I come back up to this point and I draw a little straight diagonal line up and I'm going to mimic these lines. Straight line down, curve line out, straight line down, and leave it floating. I come back to the top right here and I'm going to draw a straight line out and then I'm going to do a sharp straight diagonal down. Come back to this point again. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out and I'm going to connect it straight line with this diagonal line over there. Come back on the right and I'm going to draw a straight line down, leave it floating, come to this point, straight line down, leave it floating, jump over and about midpoint right here we're going to draw a straight diagonal out straight line down and leave that floating. Okay, I come back up and I'm going to draw little wavy wavy lines on every single straight line that I've just drawn. And this is because this log cabin has a lot of details and you're not going to sit there and draw. Now I get to the end, I come back up to my next wavy line, wavy line down. You don't want to have to sit and draw every single log because that's what you would do if you were doing this realistically. We're just giving the illusion. Okay, I come back, in, oh, and here's another line, sorry. Now, this section right here is all made out of rocks, flagstones, and that's because this is the chimney. So you fill it all in with overlapping curved lines. They don't have to be even because rocks are not even. It really exemplifies why the houses that you live in represent the materials that you build with. So obviously it was a very woodsy area. And I'm just going to go across with my rocks. It was a very woodsy area that had a lot of stones for them to make their fireplaces out of. Keep going, I know, this is intense. All the way up, come in and fill this in. That, Like I said, it doesn't have to be real symmetrical because rocks aren't real symmetrical. So you're going to fill this all in so that we can kind of see what's going on with the rest of our building. Okay? Now, to make sure that we know this is the fireplace or the chimney, I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line and leave it open. Come up, curve line, curve line, leave it open. Curve line, curve line, connect. Okay. Now, I come down over here on the right hand side and we're going to draw some wavy lines across and on this section right here on the right I'm going to draw a circle with a dot and a dot and I'm going to draw straight line curve line, curve line down, curve line up, down, up, down, up, connect. And you're probably going, what is that? This is a bear skin. I'm going to fill it in right now so I don't forget. 
This is a bear skin that they have skinned and have hung on the wall of the cabin. And I'm doing this part now because I'm going to start building all of the logs that are going to go around the cabin in just a minute. Coming over to this section, I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. Mimic that line again on the inside, straight line down, and now I'm just going to add some straight diagonals. And over here, we're just going to put a square and put another square inside, cross it one, two straight lines. Come up to this section, and we're just going to go straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. And over on this section, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Okay, all of this now needs to have straight lines going across. These are all the wooden logs that they would put together to build their homes. And they used to put little, not cement, but maybe like clay in between the cracks so the wind wouldn't blow through. Now jump over and do this section. These are all logs. Keep going. See, so you're going to jump over your fur. Keep going all the way. And we come up to this section, and we're just going to draw some straight diagonal lines across. And then we're going to draw straight lines over. This is going to be our roof. Keep going. These look a little fat, so I'm going to add some more straight diagonals. And finally, down here at the bottom, we're just going to add pathway, wavy lines. And one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, straight lines, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's see how we're going to color this. Okay, I'm going to use gray crayon for all my stone work. So that's this whole section. I'm going to use gray for my rooftop just the very tippy top rooftop and I'm going to use gray for my pathway okay then this is the part that could make you crazy every single line that's supposed to be wood I'm going to put a line of color of brown now I have two browns if you have two browns great if you don't have two browns you would just do this dark and do the other brown over it light. But I'm going to do all these lines first in between. Then I come in with my second brown and I go over it. So it gives it a little bit of depth. So if you don't have a dark brown and then another color brown, just go ahead and use the one brown, just use light and dark. These sections I'm using for my dark brown. All of those wavy lines I'm using dark brown. Okay? All of these little wavy lines you color in with dark brown. These are the eaves. That's the part that keeps the building together from the roof. Those are all dark brown. And do it all the way around every place, even the chimney stop. Now, the windows, I'm using my dark brown. And the door, I'm using my dark brown. Lightly brown color this in. Okay. Then, I'm using a light green for my grass, very light green for my grass. I'm going over that with the same light green. And for a pop of color, I use turquoise blue, blue-green for the top. Now, you'll take a little bit more time than I am to do all of your logs. So let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my log cabin all colored in. You could always add a wishing well, some kind of water well. You could add 
maybe some horses if you wanted to or some other chickens or something but as it is like this it looks fabulous okay bye bye